What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy our Shin application on AWS with Elastic Beanstalk using Docker containers and Docker Hub. On a previous video, we deployed our Shin application using Elastic Beanstalk and a platform specific strategy for Golang. In this video, we are going to use a platform neutral strategy with Docker so we can deploy pretty much any application regardless its underlying language, libraries or framework. And if you want to learn data science with Python, check out Data Camp. There is a link in the description below this video. And you can also download the Golan Cheat Sheet. There is a link in the description below this video as well. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, the first step to deploy a single Docker container to AWS using Lasty Beanstalk will be creating a Docker file and checking that it runs in our local environment. So this is the Docker file that I already created and I'm going to walk you through this file. So first, we're going to include the latest Golang Docker image that includes a Linux installation and the latest Golang version. Then we're going to add the maintainer information using a label with the name maintainer. After that, we need to set the current working directory within the container. Next, we need to copy the go.mod file and the go.sum file to the container file system and we need to run go mod download to download all the libraries and the external dependencies that we need to run our application. After that, we need to copy all the sources of the application. This is going to copy all the source files recursively from the current folder to the container folder. Then we need to set up this environment variable. If we go to the go, we can see that here we are reading this value from this environment variable named port. Let's go back to the Docker file. And finally, we need to run the build command. And what we are doing here, we are removing all the source files after building the application. The next step is gonna be exposing the port that we set here. In this case, the port is gonna be 5,000. And finally, we run the application. Let's run it and let's see that everything works as we expect in our local environment first. So first we need to build the image. First of all, I'm going to list the existing images. So we don't have any images in our local environment. So I'm going to build the image, docker build dash dash tag, and I'm going to call it pragmatic reviews slash golang dash shin. And I need to specify the local directory here. Okay, and let's give it a few minutes to build the container. Okay, now we can run our container. So first let's list all the existing images and we have our image here. Okay, and let's run it and let's check if everything works as we expect. Docker run and the port is gonna be 5,000. And the tag of the image is pragmatic reviews golang dash shin. And now let's go to Postman and let's run a couple of requests from here. Okay, we don't get any videos. That's okay because we didn't create any videos yet. So I'm going to create one. Okay, and now we should get this video. Great, okay. So now we know that it works locally as we expect. I'm going to stop this. And now let's go to Docker Hub here. I already created an account and I'm going to create a new repository where we're going to push this Docker image that we created locally. So I'm going to call it Golang Shin. It's going to be a public repository. I'm going to click here on create and I'm going to use this repository to push the image. So first I'm going to clean this and I'm going to log in to Docker Hub. And now I'm going to push the local image. Docker push pragmatic review slash Golang dash 
chain. And this is going to take a while. Okay, now the image has been pushed to Docker Hub. So if we go to Docker Hub, we're going to see that we have the latest version of this image here. And if we go here to the public view, we're going to see what is the command to pull this image. So basically, this is the image name that we need to use here on this file. This is a special file that we need to create and that we need to deploy as part of the application to Elastic Beanstalk. And basically, this is the name of the image that is basically the same that is going to use Elastic Beanstalk to pull the image from this public repository. So we need to specify the same name, and that's what we are doing here. We can also set what is the volume that this container is going to use, but here we are just setting what is the port that this Docker container is going to keep open to receive requests. Okay, now I'm going to deploy this application to Elastic Beanstalk, and the only file that is going to be part of the zip file that Elastic Beanstalk creates to deploy the application is going to be this docker run that aws.json that is going to include the image and the port that is going to be listening to requests and what it's going to do is going to pull this image from docker hub and one file that we can use to specify what are the files that we want to exclude from the zip file is this file that eb ignore and here we can specify all the files and folders that we want to exclude from the application file. Okay, and now the final step is going to be deploying our application to Elastic Beanstalk. So I'm going to run EV init to create the new application. Here I'm going to select Sao Paulo. The application is going to be video app. And here the Elastic Beanstalk CLI is going to detect that we are using Docker. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm using Docker. I'm not going to continue with code commit and I'm not going to set up SSH. Okay, now we have our application created on Elastic Beanstalk. So if I go to the console on AWS, we're going to see that we have the application, but we don't have any environments. So what we need to run now is EV create dash dash single and with this command we are going to create a new environment for the application i'm going to call it shin dev and i'm going to keep that prefix for the dns i'm not going to use this and now it's going to create the zip file that is going to deploy into our environment that is going to include just this docker run file and as we can see here we have the application name, the region, the version, the ID of the environment, the platform that in our case is Docker running on 64-bit Amazon Linux. We are running this as a web server application type. This is going to be the domain name that we're going to use to access this application. And here is the event log for the creation of the environment. Okay, now as we can see, the Docker container is running on the environment that we created on Elastic Beanstalk. So if we go to the Elastic Beanstalk console, here we're going to see that we have our environment with the application up and running. So let's enter there. Okay, let's check that we can access the web page. Remember that this web page is going to show the list of videos. So I'm going to create a couple of videos. I'm going to grab the URL from here and I'm going to replace it here. So I can create the first video. Let's run this. Okay, let's run this. And yes, we can get the first video. I'm going to create another video here and another one. And if we execute the request now, yes, we have the first video, video one, the video two and the video three. And if we go to the web page and I refresh this, as we can see, we have the three videos here as well. And if we go back to the dashboard and if we go to the application, if we check the application versions here, here we can access the zip file that includes the application. And if we open it, 
we're going to see that this is going to include just the Docker run. And as I said before, it's going to pull this image from Docker Hub. That's pretty much what Elastic Beanstalk is going to do for this application. It's going to pull the image, it's going to open this port, and that's it. Okay, guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.